In this activity, we introduce two related puzzles, cross number puzzles with numbers and cross number puzzles with some algebra involved. Cross number puzzles first appeared in the 1960s curriculum math workshop. More recently, you can find them in EDC's curriculum, Think Math. So here we have a cross number grid, nine squares, and some of these squares are filled with numbers and some are blank. Our goal is to figure out what numbers go in these blank squares. And there's basically one simple rule to follow that applies to rows and to columns. If we look at this first row, the number that belongs in the third column is the sum of the numbers in the first two columns, so 58. I can drag this red point and place it so that I enter a 58 here. 30 and 8, we add those to obtain the number that goes here in this square, so 38. Now that same rule applies for columns. So I look at the numbers here in this first column in the first and second row, and the number that belongs here in the third row is the sum of 50 and 30, or 80. Here we have 8 and 8, that's 16. And we have a choice here for this one remaining square. We can add 58 and 38, and that gives us 96. Or we could add 80 and 16, and that also gives us 96. And that makes for a good discussion. Why do we get the same result either way? It's also a good way to check the puzzle to see if the sum of these two numbers is the, sum, the same as the sum of these two. To check my result, I can press Next Puzzle, which will check my answer and move me on to the next puzzle. That will give me 10 points if I get it correct, and zero if I get it incorrect. If instead I want to be a little more cautious, I can pre press Check Answer. If I'm incorrect, it will let me try the puzzle again, but the second time through, the puzzle will only be worth eight points instead of 10. So there are a variety of challenges here on the subsequent pages of this activity, and you'll see that different numbers have been left out. And again, the goal is always the same, to figure out these remaining numbers using that same set of rules that the sum of these two numbers in the first row is equal to 32, the sum of these two numbers is equal to this number here in the first column. Now here's a puzzle where it looks like there really isn't enough information, but it's helpful to know that the numbers here in the first column in these two squares are always multiples of 10. In fact, if you drag this red point, you'll see the only options available are multiples of 10. And here in the second column, these two numbers are always single digit numbers. So here my only choices are one through nine. So that information will help you to figure out what numbers go in all of these squares. Now a second variation of cross number puzzles introduce X, but the rule is still the same. Here in this first row, I'm going to add negative five X and two, and that gives me negative five X plus two. So I'll drag this red point, which changes the coefficient in front of my X, and I'll drag this blue point, which changes the constant that I'm adding to negative 5x. And that same rule applies here. We have 6x plus 5, and I could drag these to make 6x plus 5. Looking down here in this first column, I'm going to add negative 5x and 6x, and that just gives me x, or another way to say that is 1x. And here I'm going to add 2 and 5, that gives me 7. And just to be complete, let's finish this. So I have 6x and 5. And as before, we can see if we add these two values here in our third column, that gives us the same result as adding these two numbers here in our third row. So I have x plus 7. And why is that? 